Crash-filled highways in Kansas City are costing you money. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Chris Katz. A KNBC 9 News investigation found in this case, multiple semi-trucks hauling trash or recycling, losing parts of their load on interstate highways. And you're paying to clean it right back up. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener uncovers exclusive new video that is getting results. On Interstate 435, going south last month, we saw this semi with debris flying onto the road. Oh my gosh. That's Marsha Ramsey. Unbelievable. She couldn't believe what she saw. The community needs to see that video. We're paying people to haul our trash to come back and pick it up again. Ramsey has spoken to KBC 9 Investigates before about all the trash on our highways. 91 pictures she said to city and state leaders last year forced big cleanups around Kansas City. I think I would take that video to the powers to be and let them see. Oh, yeah. Got you right in the face there. That's Missouri Department of Transportation engineer Matt Killian. He's responsible for spending your tax money to pick up highway trash. The problem is so big in Kansas City, we sent News Chopper 9 to check it out. MoDOT crews before the NFL draft filled dump trucks full of waste. They took these pictures of the mounds of trash they picked up from highways just in Jackson County. As for the semis KBC followed, this waste hauler actually passed right by a taxpayer funded litter crew last month. So it is covered, but it's not necessarily secured. Killian says individual drivers are ultimately responsible. MoDA has to keep picking up and enforcement is needed. That trash that flies off a vehicle creates a safety concern when it's when it's flying off the road. We absolutely do not want that happening out of our trucks. Kit Star saw our video too. He owns the Raptor Transfer Station in Grandview. That's his company's truck hauling trash to the Johnson County landfill. You'll see what looks like a soft material flying onto the highway last week. I appreciate you bringing this to our attention and giving us the opportunity to take a look at the video and have this conversation. Star was the only trash hauler to agree to an on-camera conversation about a KBC non investigation following three separate trips from each of three different private waste transfer facilities like GFL, Mark II, and the Raptor facility in Grandview. All the facilities contract with Kansas City, Missouri and several other customers all your trash to the landfill or your recycling to another location. So he's preparing the truck to, to come out. After seeing KBC's video, Star is now having internal conversations with his team about how to better secure loads. Some sort of a reinforced nylon mesh. Star also says they've just ordered new straps to prevent what we saw from two of his trucks. If that's something that's happening behind our trucks, we absolutely want to know about it. We want to be a part of the solution and solve it. Wow. Ramsey, meanwhile, sees all that trash along Kansas City's highways, wondering who will step up to stop it. It's counterproductive. She wants the public to see this and demand immediate changes. And I think we need to start taking pride in our city. Well, we continue to see comment from reps from the other two transfer stations, GFL and Mark II. We want to hear from companies we saw hauling from both facilities, too. We're also pursuing follow-ups with the right people, enforcing the rules here in Kansas City, who can watch this video and make changes, Laura. All right, Matt. Well, this story is already generating new tips. If you have a tip you'd like to share about trash along Kansas City interstates, email us at investigates at KMBC.com.